What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of MAV where we do everything outdoors. Today I'm with my buddy Spencer and we've been spending the whole morning catching some salmon off the docks. We got a couple coho, we actually kept one, and we're going to share a creative way of how to smoke a salmon with you. If you're reading the title of this video, yes, we are smoking it out of a cardboard box. So let's grab our fish, take it back to the warehouse, and get it brined up and in the smoker. First time I ever fished here, dude, I, this is the only spot I knew. Yeah. There's one. There's one right here. Coming through. It's right here. It's right over here. He's going, he's go leaving the circle. You, you go. It's all you. Do it. He's, he's this way. He's going this way. He's going this way. I can't see him anymore, but he went this way. Oh, here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Right here. <laughs> so this is a female coho. These aren't the ones that are all like colored up and red like the males. Still a nice coho. <laughs> instantly, like Mav said he saw one and it was instantly. So that's good to see. That's really good to see. I think we might keep this one to smoke. It's very dark, but we're gonna we're gonna try it out. The a lot of the fish that are in here right now are this color. The males are gonna be super red, but we're gonna see what the meat's like. Hopefully smoking it can kind of like make the meat, meat taste better, but. These fish aren't gonna naturally reproduce either. So really if you keep them, you know, it's not, like I don't wanna say this, but they're not really gonna, Nothing. the spawns aren't really gonna do anything. Yeah. Um, so. Well, it's the perfect size too, because it's, it's a small. This should be fish. a good size to smoke, right. yeah. Smaller the better, obviously, not as, not as tough, but so super this, cool. This will be our one for the day. The first fish is the one we're gonna keep. Yeah. That's so cool that they just saw it. Like you watch me see this fish and then Spencer says instantly, we just, we got it. So we're gonna bonk this thing and we're gonna hopefully catch a few more. I think we're not gonna have any problems after uh, after that. So sit. <laughs> got one, bud. Lever? Yeah. One. This side looks better. This side will make it more look like a salmon. Oh my gosh, look at all the colors. See those <laughs> really cool lines? Tiger salmon. So beautiful. It's a tiger salmon. It's a new species that was just introduced in Wisconsin. Oh my god, this meat is white. Is it white? Yeah. That's good. Ready? Oh, wow. <laughs> just splooged all over the truck. So for all you folks at home, Looking for a good spawn sack egg. That right there would be what you call dialed primo eggs. Now, on a salmon or a trout, the best meat is generally in the tail. And the reason for that is from about here down, there's not a lot of bones. From here up is where that rib cage starts. You can kind of see it. This is a this is a bone here, or this is their spinal cord here, but all the bones kind of start right in the stomach section. And then they kind of end, like I said, right in here. So all this section from here down is no bones. This meat is white because that fish has been in that harbor for so long. I don't know what this meat's gonna taste like. I've never really actually ate fish that looks like this. We're gonna test it, I guess. We're gonna yeah. test it, but like in the summertime, this meat would be like as pink as these eggs. We're gonna see if we can make this meat taste good because yeah. apparently I've heard from multiple people when fish look like this, it's not gonna be good, so. Yeah. To me, this does not look any good. I'm gonna go right no. ahead and say this, it doesn't look any good. It looks pretty gross. I think but... most people at home could say it looks gross, but have you ever tried it? That's the thing. Yeah, we're gonna give it a shot, and at least at the end of the day, you got some skin out of it for next That's year. That's right. So. All right, next step is to get this stuff into some brine. We're gonna really coat it in some sugar and some uh, some salt, and then it's gonna sit for probably, we're gonna let it sit overnight, and then we're gonna smoke it in the morning. So let's get it on some brine, put it in the fridge, and then when you guys see us next, it's gonna be in the morning. Take some kosher salt. Put more salt in there. Yeah. Why do I feel like I should dump some of this out? No, put it on it. Put.
Howdy. You want a knife? Good? Yeah. All right, so essentially what we're building right now is the smoker. So what's gonna happen here is we just put some sticks across here that I got from the woods this morning. Um, down here, we're gonna have a tin of soaked wood chips, apple wood chips, and then we're making some vents so air can flow can get in. I'll put some of these soaked ones in. So one thing you guys don't say we're cheating on is we have a torch, but it's an instant way to start a fire. Got a hole on top of the box here just to vent it out a little better. Wow. It's actually pretty hard cutting in the middle of the box. Nice blade, eh? Yeah, right. Alright, All right. so Spencer's got a nice little fire going here. Got our salmon that was brining. Just gonna stick it up on top of there. I can't really see what I'm doing. There we go. Oh wow, good thing I didn't drop that. That smoke's perfect right now. See how you just got a little bit of a flame on that one side, a couple sides are burning, but the those big chunks are smoldering. That's looking good, dude. Yeah. Looks perfect. No, I just can't drop these flays in there. I would uh, turn those ends, those tail ends. Yeah. Yeah. Turn them in. Just put them on the wood. There you go. Okay. It's probably hard for you guys to see because it's smoking so much. It's freaking hard for me to see. It's got to be real hard for them to see. That's hard for you to see every day, but... I know. <laughs> I need to eat my carrots. All right, so now i got to seal this thing up. Um, we're gonna keep tending to this thing and putting wet wood chips on it, but looks good for now. Hold her up. All right, so it's about hour one or two. Cover up some of the vent holes. Um, we've added a little electric thermometer on this side just to see how hot it's getting in there. And then we've added a few better things to close up the doors. Um, I'm trying to smoke this thing within less than four hours. So in order to do that, it has to be hot in there. It's not really a true smoke. It's gotta be uh, it's gotta be like a baked smoke. So it's about 200 degrees in there right now. We were running into issues with the flame hitting the cardboard box. So that's, I mean, that's just the way it is. But anyway, we probably got about an hour left on this stuff. Um, smoke's coming out good, as you can see. It's smoking nice. But I guess only time will tell to see if the fish is cooked in the middle once we're done, so. Who knows? Oh, by the way, if you're thinking about just smoking your meat like this all the time, um, don't. It's a pain in the butt. You have to worry about the cardboard box burning. You have fire. It's just not ideal. Just buy a buy an electric smoker and just never look back. I don't know what's all here. Your old man must have found it. Oh, God. Hey, can we just peel this back? Yeah, just the whole top off. Look at that. I'd say it's done. Yeah, I'd say it's done. There's water in it. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of water in it. Yeah. Save that tailpiece for somebody you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Spence, it's yours. <laughs> You want the tailpiece? No, thank you. Do you know that? Mm -mm. I can make the door. Right there. Can you no. Am I trying this? We're, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna bring it to the table. It's the last supper. It might be the last time you eat here. Should we eat it on here? Let's not get your nice table on my seat. Gross ass sandwich. I mean, it smells oh, okay. It even this smell this good. is a little worrisome. This looks like, I mean. When you peel meat back and you see white on salmon, it's not good. Yeah, it don't even look good. We gotta try it since we kept oh, it. Oh, it's hot. Is it? Yeah. It's definitely cooked all the way through. 
Not bad. I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. You try another one? It's also better if you let this sit for like four or five hours. hours. Yeah. It's not Smoked hot. salmon's not the best when it's hot. Put it this way. I think if you did a blind taste test for like fresh salmon and this salmon, I truly don't think you'd ever, ha you'd ever know. I don't think it's that bad, dude. Give it a go. All right, so that's what we're working with. Like I said, if it wasn't hot, it'd be better. It's not that bad. Definitely get the smoke flavor. It's like that cardboard box smoker worked a lot better than I thought it was going to. It's not burning down and stuff. So like if you let this sit for four hours, it would definitely firm up a little more too. Yeah. Right now it's just kind of like a glazed, like grilled piece of fish. That's not bad. Definitely a little better than I thought it was going to be. I was a little worried when I took that piece out of the box earlier. I snuck a piece when we were cooking it. Put this way, you put this in like a smoke spread, like with like whipping cream and jalapenos and cilantro and stuff. Yeah. You'd have no idea. Let's bring it home and see what my parents think. So Spencer has a big trip planned to Canada right now. He's going for some big walleyes. Um, he's staying at my house tonight and he's going to take the drive tomorrow. So um, thanks to him and his dad for him putting me on these fish and his dad for helping me tend to the smoke. I, I didn't did a lot of the smoke. Either. Yeah, I didn't do a lot of it. I mean, he tended to it like every half hour. So shout out to the old man. Dad. Dad. Say hi. Hi. Oh, you're filming this. All right, you gotta try it. Just one little piece, it's fine. It's good. It doesn't, it doesn't taste as bad as we thought, Matt. No bones? Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste like it was cooked in a cardboard box? No, it's nice and smoky. I like it. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you can eat a dying salmon that has white meat and it tastes fine. Oh, thanks for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> thanks again to Spence. Thanks again to his old man. And thanks again to the salmon for uh, letting us <laughs> cook it up. So thank you guys so much for tuning in this episode of Mav. Until next time, my name's Maverick, and keep on trucking. Are you okay? This is what happens to you.